Imagine you're sitting at your desk and you get a notification of a recall. Do you feel like this? Or like this? If this is more accurate, no need to worry. I'm Tina, and I'm here to help explain everything you need to do before, during, and after a recall to avoid a panic situation. First, let's talk about what you should do to be prepared. Have recall procedures in place. Ensure all state agency staff is aware of and trained in USDA Foods recall procedures. Assign a state food safety coordinator and an alternate. Ensure their name, title, and contact information is updated annually in web-based supply chain management. Contact information should be provided for 24-hour access to speed the notification process. Designate at least two food safety contacts at each of your recipient agencies. Establish a notification system for food safety contacts at recipient agencies. State distributing agencies may use the free, USDA-provided State Emergency Notification System, SENS, or another communication system or method of their choosing. Check for system effectiveness annually. Become familiar with state or local requirements for solid waste disposal. Information on proper methods of disposal must be obtained from state or local agencies responsible for environmental protection and or solid waste regulations. Got that? Great! By taking care of those things prior to a recall, you'll know you have a plan and system in place to handle it when one does happen. Now let's talk through what you should do when you get a notification of a USDA Foods recall. Contact recipient agencies, in-state processors, and state contracted distributors as soon as possible after receiving a recall notification. Make sure that your message includes identification information needed to track the product, instructions on handling the affected food as directed by the Food and Nutrition Service, specific product disposal instructions as directed by the Food and Nutrition Service based on state and local solid waste regulations. Finally, make sure you request that the recipient agencies respond with the location and amount of recalled product remaining in storage. SENS makes conveying your message easy by using preloaded contact information to immediately reach out to recipient agency contacts on all of their devices. However, you can share the information with them however you would like. Okay, paper planes are not a recommended method of delivery. Once they receive your message, contacts at recipient agencies, state distributors, and processors will collect and validate inventory data. Once they are finished, they will share the data with you. Compile the provided inventory data and submit the data to FNS on the web-based supply chain management recall response form in accordance with FNS instructions. Once the form is submitted, congratulations! You've completed a recall. After the recall, you'll complete recall reimbursement claims paperwork and submit it to FNS. You may also want to conduct an after-action meeting to discuss lessons learned. To download a checklist of the steps covered here, visit the link shown on your screen. If you'd like to sign up for SENS to make this process quick and easy, or if you have any questions about this free software, send us an email at sens at fns.usda.gov. Thanks for your efforts to be recall ready.